With the car safely supported up off the ground, place a floor jack under the control arm. Undo the two nuts holding the sway torsion bar to the front of the wishbone and remove the bracket. This is a picture of the special Mercedes brand spring compressor tool. Use extreme care when compressing and removing the springs. Place the Mercedes Benz spring compressor plate as high up as possible into the springs, red arrow. Place the lower plate as far down on the spring as possible, red arrow. There should be a minimum of seven coils between the plates. Feed the compressor strut through the access hole on the bottom of the control arm. Rotate it to lock it into the upper plate. Once secured, use a 19 mm socket and turn the tool, red arrow. It will compress the springs as it turns. With the spring safely compressed, slightly lower the front control arm on the jack and remove the front spring along with the rubber mount in a forward direction. There are two eccentric bolts and nuts, red arrows, that you need to remove connecting the wishbone to the chassis. Scribe the eccentric first so you can get the alignment close when reinstalling. With the eccentric scribed or marked, green arrow, use two 22mm sockets to loosen and remove the hardware. With the hardware removed, the wishbone will swing down and out from the chassis. Remove the nut and bolt on the clamping sleeve to the ball joint, red arrow. You need to slide the bolt out of the sleeve as there is a groove cut in the spindle of the ball joint that the bolt sits in. You may need a pickle fork or ball joint separator to remove it from the steering knuckle. This photo illustrates the groove cut in the spindle on the ball joint, red arrow. You must make sure this is lined up when installing the ball joint or the bolt will not go through the clamping sleeve. Here is a new wishbone. It comes with new bushings where it mounts to the chassis, green arrows. Clean the threads on the sway torsion bar mount, red arrow, and the new ball joint, yellow arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Remember, the car must be back on its wheels on the ground before torquing the bushings to their final specs. Now is also a really good time to get your alignment checked. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.